Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about Google Bard image generation. We will see how we can generate images on Google Bard. Because if you have never heard about Google Bard, so I'll tell you Google Bard is a platform by Google where you can find and generate images by giving it prompt. Let's say you want an image of a kid flying in sky, you will type it here and it will find you images related to what you have written. It works similar to Mid Journey, but Mid Journey is a paid platform and it is very much technical to use. But Google Bard is free. Even Google Bard is in its experimental form, so that is why it is free and you can use it very easily. To use the Google Bard, you have to go any browser of your choice. Once you get onto the browser, on the search bar, you have to specifically search for Google Bard. Once you search for it, you will find this first link which says Bard. Just simply click onto it and then you will get to its website which is called Google Bard. Along with the logo of Bard, you could see it is written experimental because it's in experimental form. Here we have this option which says enter a prompt here. So whatever you're looking for, you just have to type it here. Let's say if you're looking for a flower in field, just type flower in field and it will find images related to it. So right now this platform is in its experimental form, therefore it couldn't generate images. But it could find images what you have written in prompt from the internet. Here I have searched about a guy sitting on bed. So here it found this image. This is from the internet. It didn't create it. If you tell it to create it, it will not create it because it's a new and it will take some time to work on it. But with people's response and feedback, it is working on generating images from text. So now I'm going to give it another prompt. This time I will talk about Sailor Swift wearing a red dress and performing on stage. And then we will see if Google Bard will be able to create or find images related to it or not. Likewise, you can add any kind of prompt, whatever you're looking for it, just simply press enter key and then it will work according to it. Sometimes it takes a minute or sometimes it takes less time to find the results. So here it says that sure, here is an image I created, but it did not has created any image because it is working on this feature. Therefore, we just have to play with different options here. Once you give another command to it, it will work according to it and then will show you some of the results. So here I just played with some of its option. You just have to do the same. Just go for different options. And after that, it will take your command and will find related to what you have written into the prompt. So here it has found an image in which Taylor Swift is wearing a red dress and performing on stage. So that's how it works. It also gives you a brief description of what you have looking for. So if you like that response, you can give it a thumbs up or even you can give a thumbs down. If you want some editing in your answer, you can go for this option and it will again regenerate answer according to it. You can also share it, search it on Google. And with these three dots, you can either copy it or if you want to report it, you can also do that. Right now, we can say that this platform is a mixture of ChatGPT and Midjourney because it takes your prompt or you could see your commands and find something related to it. Like it generate answer or maybe takes information from the internet, but it also provides you some of the images. So here I'm again giving it another command and let's see this time if this works or not. Right now, I'm giving a long description, a long prompt. Before, I have given only one line, but here you can see that I'm going and giving some instruction like create an HD image or realistic. And there we will see if that is able to create it or not. And here you can see that it did not create it. It will take few months or days. And after that, it will definitely create something related to what you're looking for. Again, I played with some of the options but it only given me text form, it did not create it any image. So that how it works, it has some flaws, but definitely it is not a better version. Therefore, we should not expect a lot from this platform, but surely with some improvements from your feedback and working by the engineers, this will soon definitely create images from text or from the prompts. As we know, it's not creating any images, but it will find you images that could be helpful for you that you could use on different platforms. Like you can just copy that image or you can go with the link that is written with that image. Once you tap onto the image, you will also find these links. 
as you can see we have this option on the left which says new chat if you click onto this option this will clear out what you have written before and then we'll start from fresh here i'm again giving a prompt and this time we will see if it works or not giving it prompt again and again there is a chance that it will work according to it here i have given the prompt of a dog with a teddy bear so here you could say that it found some images that is similar to what I asked it given me images in which dogs are similar to bear but it did not give me images in which dogs and teddy bear are together. So that how it works it will find some of the images from the internet according to the prompt you have given to it. In case if you're looking for some stock images and content so this is the best platform where you could give your prompt and then you will find stuff related to it. So that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more informative videos and updates. And thank you so much for watching the video.